You're gonna need a f uh, funnel, uh, Anthony. Yeah, I do. Here. Thank you. And a sifter card. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You gotta have your shit, you know? Yeah. I've been using the funnel to do everything to s pick it up and put it in. It's uh, working yeah. for me all the way through. <clears throat> all right, you ready? Is everybody out there ready? Today we're doing Canagars. So you ask yourself why and what's so unique about a Canagar, why do we do it? Well really it's because of the burn. Um, the burn is clean, smooth, it's, it's uh, even all the way through. Uh, we do it in a cone shape because as the cannabis comes back towards the bottom, it obviously is, uh, uh, has more uh, uh, resin in it, so it gets stronger and, and we like the diameter to be a little narrower as we get down towards the, uh, the tip on it. But the main reason for these things is that they last. Um, they don't just, you don't just light them up like a joint, poof, they're gone in, in five to seven minutes, depending on how you smoke. Um, they actually last anywhere from 30 to 45 or, or even longer, depending if you, if, you, if you pack more and you take more time, they can last up to three hours. So you can actually pass one of these things around for three hours. This particular one only has an eighth it, it burns for about 45 minutes, which we're gonna light it throughout this uh, little competition. We're gonna, we're gonna do a little competition, old versus the young, you know, right, Yen? <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to do three of them. Oh shit, you know. So uh, he's gonna do- uh, uh, Three an so. hour though? I think that's a pretty good uh, yeah, quantity We'll, see, we'll see what we can do. But anyhow, um, and I'm gonna do some, we got some uh, eights here. We're just gonna do eight style because this, this is the, the smoke that we prefer. Um, we'll come back when we actually do burn these and we'll snake them. That's how we like to do it with, with fresh rosin from, uh, of course, Nug Smasher. But anyhow, uh, let's get started. Anything you wanna add to that? Uh, no, I'm ready to Can light. you light, you wanna light it? Sure. <laughs> I'm ready to light that bitch. Yeah. You see, he usually lights it with a, uh, with the torch because it gets the end real even um, and hot. You don't have to worry about uh, the entire uh, Canagar going away by doing that. Um, it will last, as you guys will see here, um, sometime. We're gonna be an ashtray, aren't we? Yes. So we're gonna burn this as we, as we go. Now this is an eighth in here with a, uh, it's wrapped in a hemp paper a hemp wrap paper, which we're gonna do most of these here. Probably like that. Um, to make a canagar, everything you really need, uh, except for the uh, hemp wrap and the actual cannabis or, or uh, hemp if you're doing it, is uh, in the Nug Packer or the, uh, the canagar kit. Um, you can get it from us, authorized dealers, Amazon, wherever. You're also gonna need a spray bottle, fine mist with distilled water helps. Um, that helps get your flour to the consistency so it'll set right in the in the canagar and it helps uh, particularly with the wrap so um in a canagar kit you have a nug packer which is the key to everything that's the mold um also works for cones which packs cones you can pack them quite heavy it has glass tips in it um uh, four glass tips it has two can of sticks it has a can of straw and it has the pattern maker which gives you the pattern shape uh, for the Canagar, which is this, which you'll need parchment paper for. Um, and uh, uh, it also gives you the, does it also give you the, the uh, it's not in this one, but don't you get that with that? Um, in this. the cone loader pro kit is when you get that. Oh, okay. And you also want to pick up one of these uh, funnels, these stainless funnels that we make. They are badass, as you'll see. That's how I, I haven't always rolled them like that, but I do lately, I pack them like that. Let's see. See what I mean? Yeah. It's definitely a winner. Sorry guys, it's taking a minute. Camera guy. There we go. All right, so let's get started. I like to flip gloves on first so I don't get shit all over me. And you're going too, right? What are you rolling, what are you packing first? Uh, I'm gonna pack that one. This one? Yeah, Jungle Breath number okay. 12. What's that? That's Florida Kush number 33. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, 
this flower seems pretty nice, probably about 60% or so it feels like. Let's see. Well, we're gonna need to get another grinder out over here, huh? Seem like it's a precious tomorrow. Great to have these guys on hand, guys. You'll see once you try this and do it and burn these, there's man, there's really not a substitute in the uh, except for just straight dabbing. Which we got a lot of exciting new stuff coming out. We got the new gravity bong that's almost done. Uh, first one's almost done, and we have all the files done to make to be able to make that production. So we're pretty excited about that thing. Um, in case you guys don't know, it's a 10 gallon gravity bong, five gallons of water, five gallons of air displacement. Um, it'll have uh, different whip attachments from one to six. Uh, have a big. Uh, we're we're also in production. We got a big e-nail that we're making that will uh, be able to put a, a gram or five grams of, of concentrate in and, and it'll be able to keep it at a low temp at the bottom and then once you fire it up it'll be a higher temp at the top so two PID basically on it that will uh, allow you to you put five to ten grams of concentrate in a in a uh, in a bowl and, and for a party and someone keep just hitting it and hitting it and hitting it so We've tested the concept. We're excited about that, bringing that to you. We posted a uh, quick uh, little story of that um, new gravity bomb on YouTube, so check it out. How you doing? Good. I'm just trying to prep my parchment paper. I feel like that's the hardest part for me. Yeah, that, that pattern made this possible for some people yeah. to kind of figure this shit out. We used to not do the patterns or everything. We used to kind of wing that, all that. But yeah, the pattern helps so the much. The pattern helps so much. I basically take the pattern and I start rolling up one side and it's going to be uneven changed the way I've done this quite often. Santa Cruz. Yeah. Sure. Do you want to use this thing? I'm done with this. Sure. It's a little better. Yeah. <clears throat> so basically, we're curling up the edge of the parchment paper so we can get the nice, the nice uh, shape in it inside the nug packer. I like to do mine on an even plane like this. I like to pick one side and roll it up on an even plane. I'm kind of training it the shape here, and then I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it in. A smaller, a smaller uh, can of stick here. I like to stay on one side and roll it up on an even plane. Just like this.
And I like to take my stick and I like to... I got a used nug packer, as I can see. Used as fuck. <clears throat> I like to feed mine all the way down and then it'll even out. It'll even out at the top if you do that. So if you load it down one plane of the parchment here and you, you roll it all the way up uneven but parallel, once you drop it in the cup, you should get an even, even uh, cup at the top. And the bottom should look like that. You should see the parchment all the way down at the bottom. If not, you're gonna, you're gonna have a fucking mess on your hands. So after we do that, we just drop the stick in. So if you take your time with the parchment, it's absolute key for you. <clears throat> Remember the bottom, the can of straw doesn't, doesn't get down there completely. It's always gonna be loose. So you want to get down there with another can of stick or a uh, everything tool. Not too much that you tear the parchment, but just start to pack it in before you get too much in there. Work your way around, start at the base real slow. Work your way around. I think the hardest part with these uh, can of guards is uh, the beginning. Oh yeah, it always yeah. Is. Once you get it started how you want, man, that's easy street. Make sure your stick's right in the center. I want to show you how this is burning too. You notice we set it down, it didn't go out. It's a nice cherry there. It hasn't been ashed yet at all. <clears throat> Woo! Nice head change, huh? Yeah, right? Yeah. It's cool how just like, you can set it down for like a couple minutes and be able to just keep, continue hitting it. That's pretty cool. Sometimes your paper will push down, you get it uh, too pushed in or something like that. You guys just gotta take your time with it. The more you do, the better you'll be. <clears throat> right? <laughs>
fucking funnels. No, <clears throat> looks like I'm making a fucking mess, but man, these are way better than the alternative yeah. guys. Yeah, for real. As long as you're doing it on a nice clean piece of parchment, you can scoop your, your flour up when you're done. Now you notice I'm flipping the straw around. The reason for that is, is on this side of the straw, there's a, a uh, angled side. And on this side of the straw, it's flat. So I start with the angle side and I work my way around um, 360. So that angle packs it really well, and then I come back with the flat side and pack it. That's the way the can of straws are. They're designed like that. Hey, you think we can get that uh, that uh, smoke back over there, camera guy? Yeah, geez, what the f <laughs> you doing? We're around here like smoking. Well, really, does it matter? This is no. Law, it lasts forever. No, there's plenty there. It still mm. looks as long as we lit it. As when we lit it. Yeah. It's like, did it even change yet? She just ashed it, I think. Yeah, I did. I just ashed it. You just ashed it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. First ash. I don't know how long it's been. About one 15 thing minutes. Sure, yeah, one thing for sure, you'd already been through a king size. Go on. Oh, a couple. Yeah, it was. Is that an eighth you got there? Yeah. Oh. Just the eighth. The other thing great about these can of gars is you can <clears throat> snake them with rosin. You can also sheet them before you put the uh, before you put the uh, hemp wrap on. So you can wrap them with a sheet of rosin, like a lot of our videos you've seen us do. I don't think we've ever uh, showed you guys how to do it and, and smoked one at the same time. Though. I think that's a new one. YouTube will probably spank our ass for that somehow. Huh? They always get us. Yeah. YouTube would probably spank our ass. Facebook would ban us. You know, that's the way it is, but... Guys, if you feel like your flour drying out too much, uh, like I do right now, um, we're here in the driest place on earth, you can uh, give it a little squirt, give it a little mist. Well, we need someone over there, like Google, Google the driest place on earth. <laughs> What's the driest place on Fucking earth? Fucking here. I'm sure it's pretty close. <laughs> Fuck.
once I get to the end, I got an eighth in mine here. Um, once I get to the end, I, I take a, a, a everything tool, the back of everything tool. And I go around the outsides, make sure I damp it down as best I can. Um, and then I'll take that same everything tool and I'll push it out from the bottom. Like so. Dun, dun. Nice. That's what I get. And instead of going on to the next step, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, do another one of these. So I have a couple of them. I'm just giving it a, a mist. Hopefully, I don't mist it too much. Oh, actually, I changed my mind. I'm gonna finish this one first. So now we need a, uh, we're gonna clean up here. We need a glass tip and to pick our wrap. That's exactly what I was after, this fucking thing. Well, I'm gonna go with this billionaire hemp wrap. Uh, I'm guess great. I like it. And I got a tip here. Here's one for you. Oh, you got them over there. I'm gonna use a black tip. Slide it on. There you reinforce my tip and how far in are we here 23 minutes uh, 23 minutes in guys that's where we're at on this thing I'm burning like a fucking chimney one eight one hemp wrap here it is. I like the taste of that. Yeah, that's pretty nice. It's pretty good, huh? I enjoy the marijuana leaf more, to be honest with you. Yeah, that was pretty nice, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yesterday we smoked one, one that was wrapped in a just a cannabis leaf. That was nice. Yeah, it was fucking good. It tasted yeah. really like pure, you know? Yeah, it did. So what I like to do, guys, is I like to uh, reinforce my tip. You don't want a, you notice how we can, this thing burns for a long time. You want to be able to pass it around. You don't want a flopper from your tip. You want to be able to hold it from your tip, just like we're doing, pass it around. It's a nice, clean, burning piece, right? Uh, you don't want a flopper, a flopper's a fucking douche. So uh, to keep from a flopper, we're going to reinforce the tip with a hemp wrap. And that's what we do first. I get uh, my hemp wrap nice and wet. I rub the water into both sides. The distilled water I got here in my in my sprayer. I rub it into both sides. And I'm gonna bring this around. This is gonna be wrapped around this way, not the way that it's normally intended to be. Tables all ghosted out from the smoke. Mm -hmm. Just take your time with it. You want it to be as tight as you can, so I like to put it down on the table and just roll it up. Once 
leg it around once or twice. Just take your time with it. When that sets up and dries, it'll be nice and strong and it'll reinforce your tip and you'll be thankful you did it. That's the start of it. And then we'll take the other wrap and just lip it around the rest. So it's there. I'll do the same thing I did with this one. We'll get it nice and wet on both sides, rub the water in. Then I'll lay it down on my parchment and get it started and I'll roll it right up. Try to roll it the opposite way that I rolled the uh, tip wrap on helps lock it in a little better. So if I did that this way, I'll do this the opposite way so it rolls. Clockwise or counterclockwise or vice versa. That makes sense. You gotta make sure you get this paper wet enough to take all the life out of it. You don't want it trying to curl over on you or anything like it's doing. That'll allow it to adhere to your shape. New shape that you want it to much better. What's up over there? Oh, over here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, huh? Good canagar. I'm just trying to roll my parchment paper for the next one. Gotcha. I'm a little rough time. I know I could have done this a lot faster if I'd have done several, but I just thought it'd be better for the video to do them complete. Yeah. People would get more of the how the fuck to do it. Now what we do is you're gonna have to let this set up um, for a good hour. Sometimes uh, longer is, works. I like to do it for a good 12 hours to really let it cure and then you can pop it in a humidor. Um, I typically, if we roll these in the afternoon, I'll come in tomorrow morning and I'll pop them in. So, but that's that. And then you can snake it from there. Um, Like I said, take your time with it. If you got any openings or anything, take your time, seal them up, because that's how it's going to cure. And that's going to be one nice little can of gar there. All right, I'm going to have a dab real quick. It's going to go nice in my can of gar. Fuck that thing. Hey, let me have that torch over there, will you? Yeah.
All right, one down. How far are we in? 30 minutes? 31. Yeah. Well, I can do about three an hour. I think Anthony can too if we do them all together. We haven't done them in some time. So. But it takes like an hour to smoke one of them, you know? Fuck, so, that's amazing. Look you rolled two an hour, you're doing pretty good. Look at the smoke billowing out of the tip of that yeah, one. Yeah, it's Just cool. wanting to be, it is fucking hit me! It smokes itself, it's like our fucking new gravity bong. Look at that thing. See that? <laughs> it smokes itself. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, Anthony does some crazy engineering, or all of our engineering for us here, um, which is, uh, we're shooting. which is part of the new gravity bong and everything we've been doing. So um, he gets into the 3D drawing and then, uh, you know, uh, programming our, our CNC machines and whatnot. And he's our, uh, he's our head engineer at the uh, factory. So he designs and uh, helps design all the, the products and the machines and, and everything new that we're doing. It goes across his desk before it's built. So that's his main function here, not to roll canagars. <laughs> but I could yeah. roll some. I could roll. I could roll. I could get Cheers. a tie with a canagar. Yeah. So. All right. Sorry for the brief intermission, guys. On my part. You keep going. You're fucking rolling on. Yeah, he's been working on some pretty interesting projects recently. Yeah, he really has. Yeah. yeah I know it's not it. in the Nug Smasher line, but he's uh, we've been engineering and building a uh, security door. It's pretty fucking insane. Yeah, it's actually pretty gnarly. Yeah, basically with a quarter turn of the handle, it throws locks all around the door. Uh, 14 different locks that come out all around the door and the frame made of solid uh, ballistic steel and uh, it's pretty bitchin' how it's, how it's designed yeah, it's done so far. Pretty, pretty intricate for like yeah. a door, you know. Mm -hmm. There's almost a thousand parts in one door. Yeah, <laughs> pretty close. Ball bearings and different parts. And screws. And mm -hmm. Linkage. Nope. That was a, uh, that was a residential line that we were designing, but now we're doing a, uh, a uh, commercial line as well. Yes. So that's in the mix. In front, got to project. Got to keep your inside safe, you know. Yep. We're also we have a new machine coming out. Oh, uh, new machine is going to have a uh, big 10-inch touchscreen. It's going to have the uh, plates that the Nug Smasher Touch has on it, the heat plates, or the XP has on it. But it's going to be a completely um, automatic machine, I guess. Yeah, you say. CNC. Yeah, so it's going to do the entire press, uh, press and the extraction for you complete. It's also going to isolate and do some other crazy things for you. So um, simplifying the process, that'll be released um, under Nug Smasher and our other brand, Rosin Science. The Rosin Science brand, which is uh, more of a countertop friendly brand. Um, the Nug Smasher brand is more of a, uh, uh, a grower friendly brand, but both friendly to all. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> we don't discriminate. Hell nah. We love all y'all. But we're excited about that unit coming out. It's going to come out in a few short, well, I don't know, months or so.
hit and miss with the parchment paper sometimes. Mm -hmm. And you get to do this, see this? Yeah. It's money every time. You think this video will be age restricted? Oh? Honestly, you never know. Yeah, right. I was obviously being sarcastic, I think it will. <laughs> <laughs> About what? It'll be age restricted. Oh yeah. Yeah. For fucking sure. <laughs> For fucking sure. <laughs> Especially after that comment. <laughs> Hey guys, if you enjoy our content, please remember to like, subscribe, ring the bell. We do um, random live videos. Don't want to miss one of those if you can catch one. Um, we do give a lot of product away or credits away or stuff away in those videos. So it was good to tune in for. We appreciate you. Tell a friend, tell your hydro shop, local hydro shop. They don't carry Nug Smasher products. Tell them what's up. Just uh, go to NugSmasher.com, hit up any of the Customer service representatives that work seven days a week to help serve any of our customers and dealers. Um, they could even go to nugsmash.com to see all about our dealer program. At the bottom, there's a dealer program tab. But anyway, we'd love to make that more convenient for our customers. Be able to go into their local shop um, and see the Nug Smasher brand, bags, and everything they may need. Um, Speaking of giving stuff away, Right. Touch right now. That's right, yeah. So tell us about that, camera guy. We got the camera guy back here behind the camera, aka Cletus, aka Isabella. <laughs> Cletus. Cletus! <laughs> so, what were you saying, Cletus? Tell us about it. You go over to our Nut Smash or our Nut Smasher uh, Instagram account and see all the details about it to enter uh, the win. But basically, uh -huh. um, I believe it's going on for like a week, a week longer, right? Yeah, I think it's about a week longer. It's uh, the Nug Smasher Touch. Um, it's a limited edition. You gotta take the camera over there. Show, show, show it to everybody. It's a limited edition, um, meaning it's uh, basically gloss black versus our Nug Smasher Wrinkle Coat Black. Um, it's a different unit that we's, we're doing and we're gonna uh, possibly offer on a limited edition basis in the future. There's a little bit more work to the finish on it and whatnot, but um that particular unit we um are giving away the one you're looking at and uh, uh we're giving it away uh, go to nug smasher ceo the instagram um for all the contact contest details and um good luck hopefully you guys uh you guys win it it is a badass machine it's what i have at home and everywhere that's what i use i love it um although the new machine we got coming out i might Fuck with that a little bit, but I'll still love my Nug Smasher Touch. Goddamn sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. New machine ain't here. <laughs> you know. Also, which brings me to, um, if anything's holding you up from making a purchase or uh, getting into solventless concentrates, uh, we'd strongly recommend you do it. Change your life. Um, we have our upgrade program for all of our customers. Um, that uh, basically we give uh, all of our customers. Uh, 80% of the value that they paid or the current value of the uh, Nug Smasher unit that they have uh, towards a new unit. So um, keep that in mind. Our upgrade program, our customers fucking love it. We've had it around since the inception of Nug Smasher. Just like our warranty, it doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. So. I 
I got some fucked up parchment here. Let's see how it rides. Yeah, that's what's going on with me. I think together we might get four. <laughs> We're trying. I think you might have to fucking go from a competition to a teamwork. <laughs> A right. team effort? <laughs> All right, group effort. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> yeah, there's definitely an art to these things. Having the time to do them all. Yeah. Yeah, I don't definitely don't make these consistent, uh, consistent enough, you know. Here comes the fucking excuses, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying. I'm just fucking saying. You sure do like the smoke, the motherfucker's consistent enough, huh? <laughs> Shit, it was lit. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna argue if it's lit already, you know. Right. Who are you to turn on? Right? Yeah, who am I to, to judge? That's fucked up. Judge the litness of a category, you know? Right, that's fucked up. Yeah, that's not who I am. That's not what I want to be. Basically, the issue I got is my parchment sticking out. It's got a lip sticking out, so I'm using the funnel to get most of my stuff down in past that uh, lip on the inside. I don't know how the fuck I did that, but I did it. Which seems to work, be working pretty good, so let's see what happens when I pull this bitch out on here. And keep in mind, guys, this is three and a half grams we're doing. Um, I've put as much as, God, 16? Yeah, you put a whole bunch in there once. I just kind of believe you guys going. Some of the shit that we've done with them, I mean, those burn, we've had them burn for three hours, no bullshit yeah. right out of the same mold. Um, just depends on how much you want to just put like, in it. Yeah, just how, depends on how much work. And, you know, most of the time you can layer them with um, some isolate, which is great. Um, and also some rosin in between, you can layer it so you can drop them in and uh, drop some drops in, some dabs as you're burning. It's nice, gives you a little more oil in your, in your uh, burner, but it's pretty good as you can see. Well, how many minutes are you in now, right now? 44, 44. Yeah, so you can see this is clearly burning. Everybody says, bullshit, it ain't been burned 45 minutes. It's cool. clearly still going 45 minutes. Tastes like it's still going to me. Yeah. One last scoop in this dish. Like I said, right at the tip, I like to run run a everything tool or or a can of stick around the edges because the straw's not getting the edge of the, uh, the outside edge. So just make sure that's nice and tight. It'll make it really nice for storing. And uh, a lot of people ask, I mean, how the fuck do I get the stick off? Um, you know, the real answer is you uh, you heat the stick and you know hold it stick you then can let it cool and pull it out usually pretty easy if not you get it hot and pull it out with some forceps or something like that real real easy it'll slip right out okay i think i'm ready to pull this fucking thing out see if my parchment bit me in the ass or if it oh finally got a good one damn damn bitch yeah my parchment fucking got ragged at the bottom but it'll work See that? Ragged. Fucking whore. 
Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Pretty fucking crazy. Where the distilled water is your friend in this process. And what I'm doing, guys, is I'm putting the um, the uh, hemp wrap reinforcement wrap around. We'll call it around the tip. Tip reinforcement? <laughs> That's what she said. Nice reinforced tip. Oh, bitch. This is what just happened. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. You can save it. Tag it right back together. It's right at the tip anyway. Slide it right back where it came out and. I was fingering it a little too much. This thing. Sorry, no pun intended at all. Especially considering the relation. Okay. We have scissors over there? We have scissors, Kendra? Yeah, I didn't pack the bottom of my my uh, can. Thank you. Can't guard good enough at all. Damn.
good. Good. Started on my third. Oh shit, you ain't fucking around, are you? Yeah, I'm not wrapping them though, like you. Oh, you want me to wrap those? If you want. Okay, you we can work together on Yeah. Little this. little assembly line work? Sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know about that. Going on to the tip on this one. Let's not forget about our friend over here. We're just burning away. Fuck. Still pretty smooth. It's not harsh at all yet. No. I'm starting to get harsh right now. So I guess this video, the point of this video is we probably can make four or five canagars um, to every uh, one burning, right? This one's fucking way longer than an eighth. Yeah, that one should be an eighth. I just didn't put that much in the other one. Oh, okay, yeah. you're switching shit up on me. Yeah. Okay. And I didn't pack the bottle on that one that good. Yeah, I can't pack the bottle. I'm too impatient. You know? Yeah, I'm figuring it out. You gotta like use the use the stick that it comes with yeah. and really just you gotta Pack go around on evenly. All the way around. Yeah, you gotta start at the top, go yeah. around evenly. Yeah, it's a it's a common sense thing, but it's a you know it's, it's a just large, patience. Yeah, it's patience. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's all it is. I mean, you're so eager to smoke them, but if you have one ready to roll, oh, it's so and you're packing nicer. them, yeah, you're just just getting ready. You know? This is nice. This turned out pretty good. Right yeah. Now. Yeah, I'm getting it figured out. Don't forget about your old friend, Mr. Kennegar. Yeah, I know, I need to go. Go give him a visit. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Kennegar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice to see you, too. Yeah, he's always glad to see you. Time to get a little short there, isn't it, Kanagar? It's like a nice relationship. He's always making you feel good. You know? Yeah. It's a good little Kanagar. A little fella.
duped. Oh yeah. So that's a little big. You put a little more now, and a little less. Now. I like your style. Yeah, you got different sizes, yeah, you know, different occasions. Little, yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Okay. I'm gonna stop after this fucking guy. What do you think? Oh yeah. Oh, this one's gonna be nice. That's nice. What's that? Parts of paper is screwed up on this one. Uh, well, you're pretty good. Maybe. You might be able to get it to work. Let's see if I can put a wrap around this one and call it. This thing's just about done. All right. What time you got, camera guy? Uh, exactly an hour. Exactly an hour? <laughs> so the real news is we can get about four and a half done in an hour. Bucking around the way we, we do it. Nice ones. And that's about as long as this eighth and that one burned. Which is fucking pretty crazy, huh? You wanna edit? That's what everybody always says. Oh, it doesn't last an hour. I don't know that we've ever smoked one on camera for a full hour. Have we? Uh, I think it's been filmed before. I think. It's something we reached an hour on the camera. I mean, I filmed one with when we were in the office. And it was like three hours long. Oh, okay. Yeah, like we, that was a big one. Like we were like hour and a half in on the Canagar, no. and then we ordered food, ate the food. <laughs> the food came, we <laughs> ate it, and we we're still smoking the Canagar. Yeah, it yeah. was a long one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's like an awesome one. Yeah, that's on our channel there, guys, if you can find that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's back in our Corona shop. That thing's still burning, it is. Yeah. Motherfucker it is. Good, I'll end the video with that if I can get this fucking guy down here real quick. have it guys we got uh, a cool four and a half done um and our eighth is still barely burning now granted we were passing around the room with 30 uh, people but this had been a 40 minute 30 30 person lot so um the tighter you pack them or the looser you pack them the quicker they burn the tighter you pack them the longer they burn so on and so forth uh, they'll stay burning. It's really a nice piece. You can set it down, come back 20 minutes later. It's there for you. So it's really a good use of, of an eighth. So anyway, Nug Smasher, uh, uh, Nug Packer Canagar kits um, are available at NugSmasher.com. Uh, authorized dealers, Amazon, uh, pretty much everywhere. Also the cone loader kit. Um, This is this one. It doesn't have the can of straws or the stick or the uh, the uh, can of sticks in it, um, but it has the uh, funnel and um, the, uh, the the sifter card and the actual nug packers in it. So that's available everywhere too, guys. Um, really appreciate you guys watching. Um, uh, like, subscribe, ring the bell. Um, thanks for everything. See you next time.